night I've got this pregnant mama here in the cage, but she doesn't seem to be activating the trap. So I'm gonna hang out. Hopefully she'll step on that thing. Okay, well that was a fail. She went out, she got in and got out without stepping on it. This cat lives in this tree. Every morning when I come here, he's up there sitting in that tree. And then he jumps down to get his food. There he comes. Hi, baby. Oh, there's a the gray one. Let me talk to you. Can I just talk to you? Why are you taking the cats out of those cages? What's your problem? What'd you do? Why do you do that? Do you understand why I'm catching those cats? I'm trying to get them spayed and neutered. Over here in a parking lot behind Hooters, and um, mm -hmm. there's a feral cat colony over here. And uh, I go in and trap cats uh, on Tuesdays to have them spayed and neutered. Right. Um, and I caught a cat over here in my uh, cage, and there's a homeless guy living in a van, and he ran over and um, he grabbed the cage and let the cat out and started a conflict with me. And now I'm feeding the cats and he's running over and taking the food away and putting it in his van. And you're in a parking lot behind the Hooters? Yeah. Are you across, you know that road that runs behind Hooters? Yeah. Alright, are you on the other side of that road? Uh, I'm, I, yeah, I'm in the parking lot. Uh, right behind Hooters and now he's driving okay. away it's a Toyota Sienna and it's a it's an Arizona plate RWA 90L and he's driving away now do you want do you still want law enforcement to contact you or no <clears throat> he's here every day um, but I'd like to make a report Yeah. Hello. What's going on? So uh, I come by here every morning to feed feed the cat, the feral cats, and I come on Tuesdays to trap them for uh, neutering. Uh, take them down to the uh, animal services down there. Um, oh, so this six six alpha alpha lima mike. So there's always a guy that's parked here in a black van. He's homeless and he keeps his dog in the van. And uh, the windows are always up. And I'm wondering how does this guy live with a huge dog in his van with all the windows up? Right. Anyway, uh, so this morning I set my trap out, and there's one that I've been trying to catch for a long time, and he finally went in the trap. And I'm parked right there, and the trap closes, and he runs out of his car and opens the trap. And I go, what are you doing? I go, I was trying to get them, the cats fixed. He goes, get out of here. Get out of here right now. Don't you ever put those cats in the trap. Da -da 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 -da. And, uh... Do you work for, like, a company or something? No, I'm just a volunteer. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of people that do that. It's called okay. TNR. So my next question is, mm -hmm. 
Was there anything physical between you guys? Anybody hit anybody? Or anything? Uh, well, nobody touched my property, and then he stole the food that I put down and put it in a bag and took it over and put it put it in his to give it to his dog. And do you have permission from Hooters to do this on their property? Yeah, they they you know they know. I've seen them all. I've talked okay. to them. I'm asking because well, I'm asking because I know some other businesses have talked about and they're like, how do we get rid of people that are setting up? Cat houses on our property. Well, I'm not putting up cat houses. I'm ta I'm putting. I, that's some other guy named Glenn that puts okay. the cat houses. Okay. okay. I'm the guy who has them fixed so they're not breeding out here out of control. No, I got you. I got you. Okay. Um. So what happened to this other guy? He seen me calling the cops and he took off. Went okay. out that way. Okay. Uh, do you know the tag number? Yeah, it's Arizona. Uh -huh. uh, I gave it to the the uh, 911 dispatcher. Well, might be off the or something. Nine no zero way. L or nine O L. It's 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 either zero or O. Okay. Um. All right. And you said he's here every morning. Uh, yeah, he's either in this lot or the uh, Best Buy lot. And I now I realize what he's doing is he's waiting for me to put food down, and then he goes and steals it, and gives it to his dog. All right, well, we'll try to keep an eye out for him. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, so I caught this little guy today. He's got, I don't know if you can see it, but he's got a big abscess here on his cheek, right here. And um, he needs to get that drained. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay for him to go to the vet. And, uh, since I couldn't catch the other one to get him spayed, we'll see about getting this guy fixed up. He's being a real good boy, but he kind of crying when he got here. He doesn't know how to react to these new surroundings. But we're gonna get him fixed up and then bring him back to where he wants to be. Hello. I'm Jason, I just called. Yep. So I know we're checking the cheeks. We have like probably four flasks. Yes, we do. And you noticed this today? Um. Like? What? Uh, yeah, just today. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, God.